Massive fire at a daycare center in the northwest suburbs has parents scrambling today. Investigators are still searching for clues as well. It happened early this morning in South Elgin. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live at the scene with video of what the building looked like shortly after that fire started. Hi, Lauren. Aaron and Lionel, we still have a few first responders here on scene. They didn't need to use any of their ambulances today, which of course is always a good thing. But if this fire had started an hour later, this could have been a much different story. We looked out the window and we saw all the fire trucks floating up. The sun hadn't risen, but the sky was bright outside Jeff Park's apartment in South Elgin. A huge fire across from his complex consuming a building. We we're actually concerned about the uh, the vet clinic right here and uh, worrying about the animals and the dogs. No, that's uh, kinder care. Dogs. He hit record after learning it was a place for children and watching the flames get worse. I did see the roof collapse and there was a big fireball that came out. No one was hurt, but firefighters had to battle the flames furiously. Crews from 10 different towns responded to the call. It's extensive. We haven't had a fire this big in a while. It's all wooden trusses in there, so it got a good head start. The kinder care wasn't open at the time, so no one was inside. Stunned employees showed up later to survey the damage. Police also poked around. For the possibility of arson. We have found security cameras at other businesses, so it'll take a little while for us to follow through with that. Park has his own evidence. Well, in South Elgin, there's not a whole lot that goes on around here, so when there's a fire, you know, everybody kind of comes together as a community and posts it on Facebook to uh, share the news and make sure everybody's okay with everything. All right, you're taking a live look at the roof right now. Firefighters have been monitoring for hot spots. We saw a few pop up in the last hour or so. I did get a chance to speak with Kindercare spokesperson who tells me that management is working with the 100 or so families affected by this fire and placing them at Kindercare locations in this region. She also told me that the teachers will follow their students so the kids are able to maintain a routine. I'm Lauren Victor reporting live in South Elgin. Erin and Lionel, back to you. Yeah, at least they're doing that for the kids. Lauren, thank you.